Hey everyone, I'm Ben from the Academy of Geekery, and today I am back doing another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to make an Agario style game in Construct 2. Hey okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go to new project, new empty project, open, and in here we are going to click on our layout thing here and we are going to basically scale this down until we can get this to fit into the little lines you can see here because we don't want this massive layout like this, well at least not for now. So we're going to make it I think 855 four by 480 yep and you see that fits the lines now. So then what we are going to do is we are going to right click insert new object and we're going to create a sprite that we are going to call I don't know player now just draw it so what we are going to do is we're going to make our cir like a circle and to make it so it doesn't have really blurry edges set the hardness to a hundred so the first one we're going to do basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a at 250 we're going to try and center this as well as we can we need to Make it whatever color you want. Let's make a red one and center it about there. Then what you need to do is you need to make us that color slightly lighter and then put it down to 225 and then place that like right in the middle like that. Hey, so close that and now we have our little our little uh, player that you players. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go 69 by 69 because that's the size we can, we're going to want for this and let's just sit it right in the middle there like so. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and insert another new object another sprite and this one is called food. Food is going to be just pick another random color it can be any color you want I might do green one so make it darker like we did before to 50 dark outside like so but okay so what we're going to do with this one is this one's going to be really small the size of the food is only 32 by 32 because if you just put it in perspective with the player that's about the correct size there so you just put this one wherever you want uh, we're going to be able to spawn other ones randomly in around the screen uh, later on. So the next thing, we're going to go into the event sheet. And in the event sheet, we're going to add an event from the system, which is the onload complete, or the on start of layout, if I can spot it there. Sometimes it seems to disappear, which is odd. Look at that. It's weird. On start of layout. And then what we are also going to do is we're going to right click and add a global variable. Very, ah, English please variable <laughs> scale and our scale is going to be first set to 0 0.2 okay I'll, I'll tell you why we're making that later so then what we're going to do is we're going to go add action we're going to grab our little food guy I actually know we're going to grow the system we're going to go create object and then we're going to get our food food come on and the same layer as food and then in the X we're going to go random and in here 32 no 32 by and then what do we say um what do we say it was 855480 so you have to go in here um that's four that's 448 but okay so 855 take 32 I can't be bothered to work this out in my head 823 random 32 428 like so okay and then we're going to want to copy this just twice like that so we just got two of them there then what we're going to do is we're going to get the player we're going to go player set scale to scale that or oh, that Thing we created before because that is the current size of 
what our uh, of our little guy here. So we want him to be 0.2 size when he starts. So then what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new object, a new text called score. We're going to put score just up in the top corner here, like that. And the text of this is going to be size and then 0.2, like that. That is almost all we have to do with that label. But what we do have to do is add new event from the player. If the player overlaps the food, okay, and in this action, what we are going to do is we are going to do food, then destroy, then another one, food, and actually system, dot, why did I say dot, you don't have to do dots in this, system, create a new object, and then we're going to make a new food. In fact, we don't even need to do this, we can just go and grab this and put it in here. So just grab one of those again, drag it down to the bottom here, and then what we're going to need is in here we're going to need to go score and then scores text if I can find a set text there size colon space and and then scale like that so now it'll update the score so put that there okay now what we want to do is we want to grab this player set to scale and we're going to want to copy that and paste that down into here as well like that so actually I might put the destroy first so now if we run our little game we still can't move and that is because we haven't added 8 direction just yet so to add 8 direction we are going to go to the layout we're going to click on our little guy there we're going to go to his behaviors and in behaviors we want to add two things to him we want to add eight direction which allows us to move him around wherever we want and we are also going to add bound by layout so he doesn't just go like driving off the edge we don't want that run so we can now move our little guy and he gets points look at that so if we close this and get out of that now we can go back into here. Now what we need to do is we need to get our little scale guy and we need to add a new action in here which is system then add to scale value 0 0.01 Now we are going to pull this little guy up to the top here. Now if we run this and full screen it and we go get one of these little balls here. Look at our size. It goes, it goes up. And if you actually pay close attention, we are getting bigger. So that is actually the first part, the, the, well, actually the main part of Agario. It's just the idea of just going around and eating these little things and growing. Hey guys, if you found this part one useful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the Academy of Geekery.